You love this. You love this piano music, don't lie. Who doesn't love the piano musics? I was uh, gonna do on demands, and I decided, oh, let's just max late reg this stuff so we can punt. We got, uh, got no poker tracker, just bare ass, just bare ass poker. Oh fuck, did I late reg something that has 10 levels of late reg left? Oh god. Whatever, we'll see what happens. I lost my good sunglasses. I can't find them anywhere. The ones I use for driving and shit. Snow Bueno. I think Chris goes right. I think, I think like twice a week we do our poker shows. I don't think there's enough content for us to do it every day. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a weird spot. Platts and James. Oh, yeah. No, I don't, I don't really know that look. They hired an El Chato. another puzzle piece. Yep. So what do we do, Crisco? We do, uh... Monday, Thursday, Tuesday, Thursday, hmm, I don't like that flat there at all. Weird dunk lead. Holy shit. Holy shit. We need to spin up the stack in the early special. Nice, nice, nice. I am there, like an eclair from the state fair, coming out of nowhere. You hungry? You hungry?
coffee or hot tea. I don't know where I can order these things from, from places. Coffee and hot tea. Starbucks. Can we order Starbucks through DoorDash? I don't believe that there is an option for Starbucks on the door bench. Yep. You want food? What wrong? Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant witch meal from Burger King. That's what we're gonna do. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, that river, dude. That river tripled us up in the early special. Large meal. Alright, we want fucking orange juice there. Hash browns. Fuck yeah, add to cart. We need that orange juice for the morning. I'm getting BK. You sure you don't want anything from BK? You want a coffee from BK? You know, she says. What about a five piece French toast sticks? What about an egg normous burrito? Which cup? Did I put it there? I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I probably put it there. What the hell's going on here? Like, I want an extra sandwich, though. Uh... Sausage, egg, and cheese croissant, which add to cart. The only reason I don't do bacon is, like, so underwhelming. Tiny little pieces of fucking bacon on this. Four to fourteen minutes? Fuck yes, order. Fucking Burger King me, bitch. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, Buddha, it doesn't work when I'm streaming from the office. I apologize. I apologize. Let me refund those points. You can use those uh, this evening when we fire up the stream at the house. Ten to fifteen. All right. All right. DoorDash lied to me, but it's okay. It's okay, dude. Ebra. What? Oh, yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hmm. 
Well, King Jack down there on uh, the third table. We open the button, fold his three bet jam from the small blind. Scatty, scatty. Very scatty. It's spaghetti. What's up, Crisco? Hang on, I gotta fix my audio in here. You may have been here for like 10 years and uh, I didn't even notice it. Hang on. How about now? Hang on, volume mixer then. How about now? Damn, why is this so quiet on my side? What did I do? I did something, Crisco. Let me fix it. Let me just pause the music. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm trying to listen to your stream and and on Discord to see if uh yeah. Seems like yeah, a bad idea. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I'm sitting out. Well, we can't, we can't sit out, you know, we got a party. It's a party! It's a party. Bob's your uncle, Joey. Yes. Say? I mean, when is Bob not everyone's uncle? I was, I was, did you already send the DoorDash order? I was going to have you pick me up uh, an application. Oh, I did send the DoorDash order. I should update the notes and say, please get me an application. <laughs> a bag full of napkins and ketchups and an application, please. So what do you, do you, what do, you do all day? You don't have to do anything? Like, he's just kind of there to delegate, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm a uh, kind of bad. kind of a professional slacker. <laughs> so like Mondays are the days I'm busy. Right. I I do the the light bookkeeping, and I submit payroll like first thing in the morning, and uh, that's that that's my work week. And throughout the week, all I really have to do is like answer questions and order parts not a not a very exciting new it thing gives you, time to, gives you time to game punt stacks and all that ill dopey thank you ill dopey Streamer, Twitch affiliate, Scottish gamer. Plays Warzone, also plays Forza, FIFA, Fishing Planet, bit of anything. Nice, 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 nice. Welcome. FIFA Psycho Wheeze, I will deal you in, dude. I'll deal you in. I, I give you seven deuce every hand, though. I'm just going to stack the deck, okay? You all, everybody. Sounds so Thank you for the follow, buddy. So, for us to do like a morning poker talk show, I mean, you're you're compiling all this data, and I love it. Yeah, it was just just when I see something, I'm like, oh, you know, and then I'll just send it there, and you know, we'll have it. like maybe we can make a place in Discord for it, like a private little thing or something. That way, I don't uh, jam up your inbox on Twitter or something. But I figured just so we'd both have it. But, um, 
Yeah, I don't think it even has to be anything too serious. You know what I mean? Just kind of, we could like maybe make segments. I don't know. I don't know. What was you thinking? I'm actually just reviewing the tweet you sent me from Kevin Martin. Right? Like, yeah, like, <laughs> that's what I wanted to play the angle of like, he was just, everything else was fine, but the seal playing the saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> like, Kevin Martin hates seals playing saxophones. It's confirmed now, and I feel like we hate him for it. It's always seals' fault. Always. You lose every round, nah, nah. You you could win every round. We uh, max late regged the sixteen fifty early special, which has a prize pool of seven thousand five hundred. We tripled up a few hands ago. We're in a decent yeah. spot. Yeah, poker is super easy. You should play. Poker is super easy. You should sign up using my account. There you go. Thank you, Crisco. You ACR sells propane and propane accessories. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Damn it, Bobby. If you uh, if you use my link and use referral code bacon and deposit twenty five bucks, I will send you an extra twenty five bucks immediately. But on top of that, you already have the 100% deposit bonus from ACR, but you got to clear that bonus. If that is something you might be interested in. We also have timeshares. Yeah, we have timeshares in Vegas. I feel like it's a good time for me to go take a WAS. I'll be right back. Okay. You all, everybody, come into the office and there's checks on my desk. And that's it's good. They come in the form of envelopes. People don't like to pay with paper checks, apparently. Oh, Psycho Weez is part of the Wyas Payaso squad. He's with the clowns. He's friends with Beebs. Right, uh... Oh, that one's not even a check. That's just the tax thing. Fuck. And now I need to keep. I need to make a new folder for this year's shit for all the taxable shit I get. Just vibing with some chill piano music, reviewing the Twitter sphere, talking to Crisco about starting a poker news podcast. That would be partially serious, mostly just for humor. Thanks. Not even worth my time. Oh, it's so funny. You have the you have the big butt cheek emote. Which is funny because we are literally just talking. A uh, partnered streamer on Twitch, Kevin Martin, is also a uh, poker streamer. And Twitch partner has an emote with the same kind of uh, butt aesthetic. But his emote got banned because it's, quote, too sexual for the platform. But uh, content that's allowed on the platform is stuff like this. Pools, hot tubs, and beaches. Mm -hmm. All right. It's hypocritical.
I just ran pocket kings into pocket aces, and he See, swaps a set of aces. No. <laughs> I think I'm done for the day. Dude, you I've see, been uh, running so bad. You see the uh, emote that uh, Psychoes posted. Yeah. I just brought up the Kevin Martin, the Kmart fucking tweet his, with his getting banned. It's literally the same emote with Rock. different oh, yeah. color. <laughs> yeah, and they have the, sp the, sp the speedy chick from uh, Overwatch. The really fast tracer, is that her name? Like, that was a popular butt emote. I don't remember that. Oh my god, was, we could... Um, we could do a whole segment on like rating Twitch streamers emotes. Right. There was a big uh, stink about how it was over sexualized a game for kids, and it's like, bro, it's it's all fucking killing and sex, man. Yeah, because all of us dudes sitting there playing these games are also, uh, you know, ripped with fucking six packs and <laughs> can't wipe our own ass because we're that buff, right? <laughs> Definitely oversexualized. <laughs> every every male and female character has always had those traits through the history of video games. Yeah, I mean it's not you're gonna make a bunch of flabby characters. No. I mean that might be the new meta. You know. Like in the metaverse, are there like speed traits you have to put in your like body weight and everything, and they give you a speed ability based on that? <laughs> How much you can carry? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I remember when I the first Fallout came out, and I was like, I was really into it, and then I I um overburdened myself and didn't realize it, and I just thought like you you were just that slow all the time. <laughs> it's like if you carried too much shit, you went really fucking slow. And I was like, this is the worst game ever invented. And like, uh, I didn't play it for like two or three months after that until I realized I was a fucking moron. Same thing happened to me in uh, Arma. Right. But it was from like a, a minor injury I didn't even know I sustained. Like limping along <laughs> at like a tenth of a mile an hour. I guess the number one Google search thing once you start typing it in. Why am I so fucking slow? This game. Dude, I got I played earlier. I got beat by Ace Jack twice versus my Ace Queen on the river. It was like somebody was mocking me. No. It was, it was ridiculous, man. You know when you get it all in good and you see your villain's cards and before before the flop you know, even comes out, you know. Yeah. You yeah, you've already this. seen the beat. <laughs> It's our it's our life it just happens so much it's like it's my, like ptsd for bad beats my uh my all in adjusted big blinds per 100 is grossly over my actual win rate it's not fun definitely not fun speaking of cards ptsd oh i'm in trouble <laughs> oh god uh jack even if it's jack of clubs i'll take it jack 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 fuck okay he's throwing nope. seven picks no, I don't think he's supposed to call there. He's clean off, facing an open and a three bet jam, but that's that's okay. That's okay. Nobody faults. Nobody ever faults. That's the moral of the story. What you got in the plans today, Crisco? I don't know. I was I was I think I'm gonna take the day off from streaming and uh Sit in my pajamas. We can sit in your pajamas and stream too. No, I, I mean, that's I did that yesterday. <laughs> we gotta change it up. <laughs> well, my, my routine to get stale. I don't know. There's some shit I should probably do around the house. Like, I need to water the house plants. I've been putting that off for a while. I mean, you can fix that. You just get fake plants. You don't have to water them. Right. I let my avocado tree die. 
one and it, it came back though like i brought it in too fast i guess like that's a thing in the in the fall if you bring it in too all at once it sure. shocks it thank you my bk lounge has arrived nice is there bacon on it uh no i often added bacon for the fit sandwiches because they're they're always miserable little tiny pieces yeah <laughs> I worked at Burger King for a, like a month. It was terrible. I've never worked in a fast food joint. I was the only one. I, well, I did. Um, I was like a bus boy at a diner when I was like 16. Hard fucking work, man. It was my actual first job. I just don't remember if I worked at the ice plant first or Hollister or the restaurant first because they are all like super close to each other and I worked all three jobs simultaneously I just don't remember which one was first <laughs> What's the weirdest job you've ever had, Crisco? Uh, like, it's not really weird, I don't guess, but this, like, a job that probably nobody else really has ever had would be Grave Digger. I was a 96 Romeo in the military, so that was pretty weird, too. Ground surveillance. Ground surveillance? Yeah. Yeah, I think when I was getting out, they were uh, we were kind of obsolete, so they were shipping us over to different MOSs and shit. So it was more for like uh, jungle, jungle warfare. We've already liberated all the jungles, so you know, they go into <laughs> the, the desert stuff. Really, we liberated the jungles to protect the tigers. Yes. You know, Grave Digger was pretty crazy. I remember when I first started, like, you know, when you dig a grave, like, when everybody leaves, you know, you put the body in the ground and shit. Like, typically, the grave diggers would just jump down on top of the casket or vault, right? Yeah. And that's the easiest way to shovel the dirt back in. And um, if you're, like, if you're really skimping on a, on a coffin or whatever, they have, like, these super thin like, particle board ones. We uh, got it all in here with aces, and this has gone four ways. That's uh, awkward. You know, you know, you run into an eight here. <laughs> oh, yeah, God. probably. I'll put that bad juju on you. Hopefully, I miss. Hopefully, they missed everything. Yeah, you got to be good here. You got two pair, right? Fuck yeah, we're back Let's in it, boys. Bigs. Let's go. Twenty-eight bigs. Yeah, if 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 you want to go like the cheapest route possible, you get this this coffin that's like pretty much just cardboard. Like it's like a fancy looking cardboard, but it's cardboard. And the guy I was working for, like I'd never seen one, and, and he didn't say anything. And I just I whole ass jumped down on top of this thing, and it caved in. It was like, the craziest thing in the world, man. It's fucked up. I was messed up for a while after that. I uh, believe when you're gone, you're gone, you know, so it's just, you know. Yeah. yeah they, they, they did worse to it than anything I could ever do to it at the funeral home. There's a state law here. If you are to be cremated, you must be cremated inside of a box. Either, like, cardboard box or, like, wooden pine box or an actual casket, which is kind of weird. Right. I don't know if that's a lot everywhere else, but that's 
That's a lot here. Another one we did. It was uh, it was cold. It was, I think it was like January or something like that. And I remember it like um, like the the person that either runs the funeral home or takes care of the cemetery, they would go out and flag off where the grave's supposed to go because you know it's not yeah. my job to you know pick the hole. You know, so they got to tell me where to put it. And they staked one off, man. And we got down to the bottom and we ran into the side of another um, vault. It was a metal vault. So the metal vaults have a bottom and then the lid goes on top and it snaps shut. It's supposed to be watertight and all that. But the holes in the bottom, I don't know, the way the, the centrifugal force or whatever the hell it's called, like water would seeps up inside of them. So when we got to the we got the dirt level below that vault, like just this rancid, most disgusting thing in the world. Oh man. Fluid just filled up our whole uh, grave. It was so, it was crazy. Man. Not to talk about gross stuff while you're eating. No, nah, it doesn't, doesn't phase me. But yeah, it was, I don't know. I couldn't even describe it if I, if I wanted to. But yeah, that was probably the weirdest and hardest job I've ever had. We had to do them all by hand. Interesting. You couldn't use a little vaco to dig them out? No. Or I mean, there was like one cemetery around here. And then I guess like the old country, you know, the old family cemeteries, you probably could. But most of the cemeteries wouldn't let you on the land with a backhoe. Which is super strange. Like even a small one. So most of the time we would have to, because you'd have to haul off like, you know, I would say like two big truckloads of dirt. Right. Just to make room for the grave or for the body. So it's all wheelbarrow and shit. Oh, silly Karen. Silly, silly Karen. Always making trouble out there in Canada. I liked when you shouted her out. It just gives her address. <laughs> <laughs> so here's my Twitch address and my home address. You can catch me at both. So, trying to make some trouble. Yeah, I think I'm just going to quit poker and become a full-time Hearthstone streamer. That's a, that's a tough category to streaming Hearthstone Overwatch just just stream all the Blizzard games yeah. all the Activision games my uh, I can't do um, Diablo so my PC won't uh, it's too much <laughs> really yeah all the um, when you really get I mean when you get I don't know if you play Diablo but when you really get deep in it and you all that shit's just going crazy. You're like speed running through the through the dungeons. It's just too much. Oh. Same thing. That's what happens when I play like Warzone on PC. Like when I get to a firefight, it's all the uh, graphics that really slow everything down. It's fine if I can just stay away from people and snipe all day. Running wise, I still suck at it. A what streamer? A fans only <laughs> twerky, twerky boy. <laughs> Would be a twerky boy. Hearthstone video games. Karen. That weird card game I play. Twerky boy. It seems like a better idea.
Captain Twerky Boy. Sounds like a late 80s rap group. My wife's got her headphones in. Uh oh. Nothing. <laughs> that nasty. She heard me say twerky boy, so she got on the computer and started <laughs> searching. Let's go twerky boy. I don't know what this guy's username is supposed to be, but it says COVID-1972 bluff. <laughs> How long do you think it'll be before we run into somebody who named their kid COVID? It, it'll be all the variants, though. It won't be just COVID. <laughs> Omicron. What's the new one? I've seen a new one today they were talking about. I can't for the life of me. I can't remember what it was. But... Let's find it. Huh? Yeah, you want to light that thing on fire? Here you go. She guys don't get smoked out. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you haven't finished breakfast, bro. Magic, magic candles. Oh. Oh, thanks. I think my first real job, like when I was over 18, was telemarketing. I actually enjoyed that. Like cold calling? Yeah, like we would do, uh, I mainly did um, like the, the rip off charity stuff, like the Trooper mm -hmm. Teddy program, Fraternal Order of Police, stuff like that. Yeah, I get those calls all the time. Yeah. Complete scams. I mean, they're not complete scams, but you know what I mean? Like, the company that's calling gets like 80 to 90% of the money. And then they give 10% or sometimes even like 7% to whatever cause they're calling for. Oh, wow. They keep like 80%? Yeah. I mean, they have to tell you, too. So if you ever get one and you really want to fuck with them, just ask them. I mean, of course, that was like. 30 years ago or whatever. Oh no, that shit's still happening today. Yeah. Yeah, but they may have made some laws by now, I would think. I would hope. But it takes a lot to, you know, you gotta pay some idiot to sit there and call somebody, so. Yeah. Well, I just get robocalls for that shit now. Right. My wife cold calls for fun. I used to cold call when I sold trailers. I would just pick a name in a phone book. And I'd be like, they'd be like, how did, how did you get my number? And I would just be like, well, you, you're, uh, who was it that got that, mo their mobile home looked at? And they'd be like, oh, Jenny? And I'd be like, yeah, fucking Jenny. <laughs> she said you'd be interested. I don't, I mean, she said probably not like now, but he's like, well, you know, we've been thinking about it. And they were just, I mean, it was crazy how, how many people, because everybody, like, you know, we're in a poor state. Everybody knew somebody that has a trailer or something like that. But then, uh, that's funny. You just immediately, uh, you just immediately find the common ground and then just get a sale out of it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, usually not a sale, but at least a contact. But uh, then we found out that it was illegal. You can't just fucking pick people out of the phone book or whatever. <laughs> I was like, whatever the fuck, you know. Tie my hands. I didn't know you couldn't do that. 
I think it's might just be in our state. I forget the the premise of that of it. We found out that we weren't allowed to do it. Or maybe it was the lying bit. <laughs> I think that might have been what it was. Just straight up lying to him. How did you get this number? Uh, lady, uh, trailer park, uh, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Jenny. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, Jenny. Hangs out with Billy down there at the sip and stop. The slurve and slurp. Yeah, I'm friends with, uh, Jenny's cousin-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Bob. <laughs> Just try to give yourself immediate credibility. <laughs> You're technically not lying when he's like throwing out names. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How many more years do we have on lease on this building? How many more years do we have on the lease on this building? Third year here? Has it been that long? Yes. Where's the weirdest place you've ever gone to, Crisco? Um, fucking some airport in Louisiana, and they had crawl dads there, like ready, <clears throat> ready for you to eat them straight off the plane. I don't know, why, why, why? Yeah, that fucking place. I tell you what, if you need transvestite prostitutes, hit that, hit that McDonald's there in Why, why? Hawaii. Why? 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 Hawaii? Yeah, right when the fucking sun goes down. It's like a, it should be a, a carnival attraction. Wawa, Hawaii? Why? Why? It's right outside the Schofield barracks there. Wikipedia. We see it a lot on uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, that show. Hey, bro, you on the ice, bro? Oh, bro, you got to get off the ice, bro. Get your life together for your murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Got to get in tune with the island, bro. Get you out of this tent city, bro. Look at me. Oh, I'm no good at Hearthstone either. I just lost that game. Wow, this tiny island. 18,000 people, huh? I never knew this place existed, Crisco. Really? Yeah. I mean, are you like in like Waiwa, like looking at the? Yeah, I'm just doing Google image search, the town and stuff. Right. Foodland. That's where you can get all the groceries, right there in Foodland. That's right. We used to have a Foodland. Karen says, if I don't get a trip or something soon, my bonfire is going to start working. We were doing a, a training mission in, uh, next to one of these fucking plantations where they grow bananas. And uh, I guess there was like a bunch of pot growers or whatever. Like they'll, they'll be out there in the woods and they'll 
like you know we were firing off blanks and shit one time and they they came out thought we were like shooting at them and shit like we were the cops we're like oh, no. you know they come out there with dogs and stuff it was pretty wild oh the barracks are the best part about this whole place it's yeah, like the, the nicest whole... looking <laughs> yeah i mean that's the whole i mean honolulu of course but uh north shore is beautiful you know you go out there and you got um the historic town of holly uh, holly eva i think that was it's just beautiful out through there yeah i mean all that green shit is just a big mountain reserves or whatever yeah the why why man that's where that's where everybody's just fucked up on crystal meth and shit damn what time is it there it's like everything's closed well, Costco, here? Warehouse. Costco warehouse is closed in Hawaii. <laughs> oh, what is that? Minus, I think that's six hours from here. I think six hours behind. Right. Yes. Yeah, I think. I don't know what happened on my second table. I, I remember jamming fives short stacked and now I have more blinds. But I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> Woo! Karen buries people in her fire pit. Fights them to the hogs. <laughs> Of the content, the content. Yeah. So, what do you think? Like, I mean, do you want to do something like do something in segments or like? I feel like just saying that they're segments, people people think that it's like a whole lot of thoughts put into it. Yeah, I, I agree. Too, like, they're just like, oh man, they really. We can have fictitious that. sponsors that are not real sponsors. Yeah, like the bear bear grids curate. Are you peeing it? Bear, what's his name? Bear Grills. Yeah, that's, that's always drinking his pee. This section sponsored by Flesh Pipe. <laughs> I don't even know what it does, but I need it. Real bad. For all of our manufactured failures, we converted them into bonks. Teddy, I'm sorry. You're going to have to go home. Nice. Probably already home, but... <laughs> but uh, like, I'm not, so I'm at the same time assuming other people are at their offices, at their jobs, playing poker online. It's weird. Back in the day, a bunch of us made a site called the Donkey Farm. He staked and shit. Nice. I think you need to revive that project, Karen. I feel like if I search the Donkey Farm now, I'm not going to get the staking website. I'm gonna get something dirty.
the dreaded Black Friday. Yeah, poor Black Friday. I mean, did Black Friday hit Canada, though? Well, I guess it shut everything down, didn't it, for a while? Yeah. That whole stealing bit. That was... I mean, I was legit making my actual income playing poker at that time. I had a full-time job working for a local internet service provider working a tech support job. But that paid next to nothing. And uh, I was playing $20 sit and goes on full tilt, making two, three hundred dollars of profit a day. While I was also sitting there taking tech support calls. I mean, that was that was how I was making a living. There's no Twitch yet or anything. What's up there, Keisha? If you guys aren't following Keisha, she's a rock star. All right. Keishers. As as Karen's my favorite Canadian, I think uh, I think Keisha is, is my favorite uh, Native American of Native Native American descent. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. Indigenous. Yeah, Keisha's she's... also in Canada. Oh, really? I, I believe. Right. Maybe uh, she's in the running for my favorite Canadian, too. I'll yeah. add a name to the, to the whiteboard. All right, we're going to have to flip a coin. It's going to be between Keisha and Karen. You all, everybody. Yes, yeah, she's Canadian. -ish. No coin. I am the old bag, and she's the young cute. <laughs> Karen, it's not nice. It's not nice. We only use old bag to refer to dirty diapers. Okay. We don't want those yet. Oh no, Karen, you can't hate all those things. You're only allowed to hate one of those things. She hates AC Heart Poker. I ain't winner. Oh my gosh. Karen's going to become a full time Hearthstone streamer, too. Yeah, she's going to play Hearthstone. We can start a team. Stream team. But the two things Joey hates are one and the same. And two of the three things Karen hates is one and the same. Well, I really want to call this with Ace High because it's sixes and threes, but. I guess we'll just fold, because the overbet pot is fucking massive. If I remember this guy correctly, he's literally crazy, but whatever. It always sucks when you're wrong, though, when you make that call. Yeah. The uh, turn paired the board, the river paired the board a second time. We're sitting there with Ace-King. We have the best non pair hand. It's always a tough spot. Joey, how's your day going, my guy? Keisha, how's your day going? I miss Joey and his cowbells. You ever gonna stream again, Joe? Or he's just no, nah, just done with it. Finish your first class of the day. Ah, yeah. I think uh, I think Joey got burnt out because he had to he had to cover like every RFR stream for two and a half months or something like every night 
Yeah, that's crazy. That's why, I mean, I don't, you know, it's fun and all, but yeah, once you start making it like every fucking day or every, you know, if you set your, your days up, man, it becomes worse than a job some days. Especially some of these home games, man, where it's just like people buy in just to fucking try to bad beat you. That was one of the reasons why we gave up the Friday game. <clears throat> just that, and there's like 5,000 streamers every Friday evening. It's like probably the worst night possible to stream. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like Grips alone, giving away... You know, I think Grips gave away $45,000 last Friday. What? <laughs> but it's a lot. Like, he's got the, the free game or whatever with all the added crap. And I think he has like three home games that day. Oh, I messed up there. That's cray cray. Where are my settings for Microsoft Teams? This needs to be in dark mode and never in this light mode. This is horrible. This is blinding me. I don't remember what my settings is. Settings are for this. Help me! Google, help me! There we go. Dark. <laughs> I, uh, Karen, don't talk dirty. Minus 25 degrees Celsius. Is that real? That seems cold. Minus 13 Fahrenheit. Jesus. Minus 36 for Keisha. What? How the hell do y'all live? Indoors with a fire. Good God. Do you have the weather command here? I don't know if I do. Says weather. Multi cabling? Heart. Heart. It's been so long since I've been outside, I don't even know if it's cold here or not. Well, I'm it's not gonna 23 that. Fahrenheit here. 23. GG. And he plays the money and they're really special. We'll just keep the focus here because we're just having fun chatting, right? Oh, 19 from the money, yeah. Nice, good luck. And weather command. Karen says, a friend just moved back from Kirkland Lake. He can keep his weather also. Haha. Ha. And boy, are his arms tired. Thing I don't like every every Twitch bot has a different um, structure for their commands. Different format. I have to decide if I want to make food or reg up something. I'm going to go make an egg real quick. 
I have 99.6 thousand bacon points. What's this? Oh, these don't work here, do they? Does this just work out of the box like this? What's up, I bluff you not? Oh, Crisco, that doesn't work. Yeah. I don't have I don't have all the cool stuff here. It's fine. Reject. Reject the points. One day I'll get my Amazon gift card. Hey, yeah, if you not, that doesn't work. I need to this find the dummy. Streamlabs one. Yeah, <laughs> dummy text or message. What is up there, Mortis? Get hammed up and play some volleyball. That uh, bar in North Bay. Sounds, sounds like a good time. That's an epic bio right there. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be read correctly. Check out Mortis Thesaurus at twitch.tv slash Mortis Thesaurus. Animal rescuer, pro wrestler, poker player, treasure hunter, creator of the Thou Art Dead gaming community, Mad Mod Squad member from Medusa Rocks, former top 50 all time Duke Nukem 3D player on the old heat.net. <laughs> Yeah, Chris goes in the voice chat with us. The one and only. But the one and only. <clears throat> his, uh, his real name's not even Chris. That's Jim. This yeah. is like, uh, what's that thing where you can get celebrities to um, do a little video and you can send it to somebody? Cameo? I don't know. The Twitch. <laughs> yeah, it's got, yeah. This is like the Twitch version of Cameo for $3.95 ACR. I'll come to your stream <laughs> and say weird things. Yeah, I think it's called Cameo. They did, um, what? <laughs> Somebody pulled their money and got. Antonio Brown to do one for the Minnesota Vikings. Oh, really? Yeah. And he was still drunk from when he ran off the field in his last game. It's pretty cringy. I'm sorry. Crisco cannot make it to the phone right now. Please leave your name and number and a brief message. We'll call you back as soon as possible. There needs to be a reason that, like, Crisco got stuck in the, the poop bucket again. Crisco is unable to take your call right now. He has found himself stuck in the washing machine again. You can leave a message here or leave a comment in one of his videos at deepfakes.com.
I'm studying shit in half an hour. What? <laughs> I'm gonna try to change my threshold here. So, can you hear? You can't hear my furnace, right? I can't hear people terrible. Uh, I'm not noticing anything, no. Okay, I just noticed that I'm like live all the time in my Discord. A little circle. Um, what uh, what video card do you have? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's not one of the RTX ones, is it? Do you have an RTX one? Uh, did they make those in 1983? Uh, no. Unfortunately not. Let me, uh, fuck, I know. I don't know where to check. I don't remember what it's called. You have reached the stream of Keisha. She is currently not live. Please drop a follow and check back later. She's currently out saving the world. Keisha's a Swifty too. We're, we're Swifty buddies on Twitter. I only like Keisha's tweets when they're about Taylor Swift. Yeah, we were jamming out some T-Swift and Keisha's stream. Yesterday before yesterday. My daughter, it's all my daughter will listen to. So when we play Minecraft in her room, she has her little Bluetooth speaker thing. And she just, she just plays T-Swifty over and over again. It seems like it's like the same eight songs. With that, she's got the of the gal too, though. I have not checked my voicemail since 1998. So if you need me, please text. remember how to even see what my graphics card is. I'm sorry, but the person you have called has a voice mailbox that has not been set up yet. Please try your call again later. Yeah, record Karen's voicemail greeting. You used to call me on my cell phone. Late <laughs> night, when you needed love. Seems like the type that never sets up her voicemail box. Oh, Keisha, you don't have to do anything today. But you don't wanna. It's a free world. But are, are you avoiding working towards your goals, though? That's the issue, right? We uh, doubled up over here with Kings. That was pretty nice. 113 places of the money still, though. This one, two places of the money. Mm. Yeah, the Vegan Terrorizer is the bot name in the Discord. Welcome. Welcome. All right, Karen. Good luck. Good luck studying. Don't don't burn any bodies in your fire pit today. See you, Karen. <clears throat> The 
It's 10 o'clock now. It's 108 places to the money. I don't... I don't know how deep we'll be in this thing when fucking 240 rolls around and I gotta leave. It's um, with my daughter, but... Yeah, this thing, if you final table it, it'll be like 4 o'clock my time, so... The $6.1500? Oh, no. I'm talking about the early special. That's right. Very long blind levels in here, if I remember correctly. Hey, yeah. But we're going to get a break in two minutes, and it's going to be pretty solid. Keisha, you're welcome in the voice channel, too, if you if you care to join. I talked to Adam this morning, also. Let's make sure he was getting the uh, interviews. Put in a good word for you. Shy. Look what I can do. <laughs> oh, Stuart. <laughs> Stuart. Stuart, we don't touch our penis in public. I want him. <laughs> that was my favorite. That that lady was my favorite on that show. She did <clears throat> Stuart's mom, and then the lady would always go, oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, gosh, that's cute. 50 cents, huh? Huh? 50 cents. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to tell you I didn't understand these jokes so straight. Wait, what? <laughs> Miss Swan. I gotta say, Miss Swan is probably my favorite just because my mother was like that. Because when she was <laughs> learning English. <laughs> I completely forgot about her. <laughs> it's break time. I'm gonna step away for a quick minute. We'll be back. All right. You might, you might play ukulele for them while you're gone? Absolutely. Play a ukulele. <laughs>
I didn't hear any ukulele. Chris could lie to us. He didn't play any ukulele. Thank you, Keisha. Enjoy your walk. Thank you, thank you. I need that uh, stream deck so I can turn on and off my... Uh... Card covers. So I can't easily do that at the moment without switching to the nested scene source. I, uh, Was a mistake. Was a mistake. It's all Crisco's fault.
Little WB, what's up, what's up? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Super lucky. It's like the only time we've we've ever spun into anything. Hey, I'm back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome back. My uh, my graphics card is a GTX 745. Pow. Pow. I had to open up Minecraft just to figure out how to find it. <laughs> Gonna right show Uh huh. So right now you're Googling how old that is. <laughs> Google all things. Good luck. Ford Raptor has four sound levels for the exhaust. That is interesting. Yeah, we'll see how we do. We have a uh, 3% of whatever we do in the Venom for reserved for uh, giveaways and chat. So we'll see what happens day one. If we make it to day two, make it day three or final table day, we'll see what happens. Put my own money maker story on it. We could. We could. Did I put that here? Yeah, there it is. You can see how excited I was to win the ticket. I'm, I'm weird. Some weird ass music. Should probably change it.
Joey had perfect timing yesterday. People were like, where's Joey? Is Joey not here? I was like, Joey's always here. You just have to summon him and say, Joey, Joey, Joey. <laughs> Love the other people calling me a dick and an asshole. Yeah. Cyrus was a little drunk. It was funny, though. What? There he is. Oh my god, the one and the only killing bird. How are you doing, buddy? Cacao. Ah. <laughs> I'm one step closer to the venom. Got a step two. Oh boy. Nice. You still spinning every day the the penny stuff? Yeah, nice. yeah, dude. Like like uh, twenty twenty seven hundred spins now. Wow. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna work. What you up to this morning, Killing Bird? Did you hear about uh, Elvis? Apparently they found him. He was in a mental institution. Elvis Presley. Uh, no. What? Yeah, that's the word on the streets. I tried to find the article. I think I've seen it on TikTok. So, you know, it has to be true. <laughs> One last time. Yeah, the best damn party that I've ever been to. I got so drunk, danced to all my favorite tunes. But I don't remember talking to you. We are just chilling and grinding two tournaments. I think when I start getting like calls from salespeople, I should answer the phone on speaker and be like, anything you say can and will be held against you in the court of law. I'm play instead, of, the theme. instead of uh, this call may be recorded for quality insurance purposes. <laughs> Is to. No, 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 not that site. Which rant? I can't type. I don't want a free gift card. Take it, you like it. Hmm, do I just open it? Basic suited under the gun for 11 bigs? Weird spot for sure. I think we do. When's the next ladder? 
Not for a while. You're probably fine then, right? I mean, it always sucks under the gun. I'll see how it runs out and tell you how I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got one over. We need an ace. We need an ace. GG. Hmm. And Crisco says, well, I would have folded there, actually. Yeah, I mean, I was pretty sure Black Bass, pre there, Black Bass had pocket tens, so. If you didn't have ace jack or better, probably should have. Forty-three twenty-nine. With table alerts when you're playing Blitz, they're just too much. You playing Blitz right now? Yeah, the, those Venom Blitz steps thing. Ah. I just don't have it in me to reg another MTT. Just got kicked in the teeth all morning. I need to stream a hundred more hours. Damn. That's a lot. I sneezed. Bless your soul. Oh, bless your heart. All right, now I think I can throw in some on demands. <laughs> if they even run this early. Three dollars and up usually do. I don't know about past six bucks or anything like that. Secrets has to be a bot, right? Like a really poorly made bot. I shoved five bigs with king four suited, and they call me with queen four suited and just destroy the flop. Like how did they even call that? Hell yeah. I like, call oh, Queen High. This guy's all in. He's definitely shoving worse than Queen High. I need to know who Tigra is, IRL. Tigra? Tigra's 11. Do you want me to call Liam Neeson? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's an option, absolutely. I mean, if he can't find him, nobody can. Yeah. 
Blaze Row. Blaze Row is at my on demand table. What are you playing, Crisco? Um, nothing now. I'm uh, deciding what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Which is oh, crazy. it's always it's always not fun. <laughs> I mean, it's noon. Like I don't know if I want to jump into something and play it for the next five or six hours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Get some study in. Probably should get some study in. Honestly. Especially since I already feel tilted. Yeah, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for study streams also. Schedule for that too. That's uh be tough. Yeah, I feel like what you guys are studying is over over my pay grade. Which thing? Uh, everything you've posted so far. <laughs> I don't think I've posted weird stuff. It's all Greek to me, baby. Nah, nah, you can figure it out quick. I know you. I know you. I just want to stream slots and be lucky all the time. How do, I, that, how do we do that? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, we gotta like get a guest on our podcast show for uh, from Trainwreck TV. Yes. Find out how he does it, you know. Right. What's up there, buddy? Hey, Jive. Hey, Jive. Jesus, the bunnies. Jesus, bunnies. Thank you so much for the sub. Good luck today, today, smiley face. face. Good luck today, smiley face. <laughs> Heart, 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 heart emoji, heart emoji. You shout me out, Jave. Invite only stream. <laughs> I 
Did he fold here? I had the ace of clubs. Let's see. Nope. It's worth a shot. This is a big pot. Let's see. Ooh, separating jackpot leaderboard from sit and go leaderboards. Interesting. Wait, what? That's a possibility. Do other sites separate sit and go versus jackpot leaderboards? Uh, Bet Online does it really weird. That would be bad for non sit and go players, though, since I don't think sit and go generates enough rake. Oh, yeah, jackpots generate a lot more rake because it's like 30% is rake. I don't know how people are able to grind jackpots so fast. We're losing this hand. They're the same type of people that end up uh, keeping people kidnapped in their basement for like years and years and years. You just gotta have the uh, mentality for it, you know? It broke fish buffet. Yeah, I don't even I don't even know what happened to fish buffet. I know he had some problems with Twitch and then he like disappeared. Fish buffet. You ever you ever see what he types in the the uh, table chat when he sits down like he has this nice little thing he types out. It's like, hello, I'm a streamer on Twitch. I would very much appreciate if you would come follow and watch along. <sighs> it's very heartfelt, though. It was every time, too. There we go. I'm going to start doing it now, too. See what I type? Chat box? There we go. It was almost like like it was like you of course you invited to come come view. <laughs> it was like, for real though. It was like he had to have had it um, saved somewhere or whatever, so we could copy and paste it. <laughs> like this. <laughs> <laughs> you get a bunch of trolls in here now. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, I got one to come yesterday to the stream from the table. Oh wait, was that too much text? Yeah, you only let it type so much. Damn it. Where'd it go? Right, yeah, that's the trick. Is to, hey, I'm giving away money. Shit. Bail con. Oh, we can do one better.
fish per foot. Alright, let's make sure this fits in the chat box. Perfect. That's what we're going to do at every table, too. It's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea. You know how hard it is to find somebody to actually show up for an HVAC appointment to come fix your fucking boiler for your house? I reached out to, like, four different plumbing and heating companies, and, like, no callbacks from any of them. I guess I'm just going to, like... Go study that industry and start another company to actually do the fucking work. There you go. What's it doing? Is it an actual boiler? Uh, it's for the radiant heat, so it's a boiler oh. for the radiant heat in the house. God. That sounds complicated. We need to replace both of our HVAC units probably in the next couple of years. It's going to cost an arm and a leg. Send pictures of bacon to them. They'll come running. Yes. <laughs> They're like, there's more where this came from, boys. I even got lunch meat. It's dollar fifty on demand. It's late, Reg. Three levels left. Yes. High potency. The potency. So says, just buy a fucking new and replace it yourself, nerd. Like, is yours set up where it's like in the bathroom floors and shit, or is it just like through radiators? Yeah, we have the floor heat, and then upstairs they're like wall mounted uh, mm -hmm. radiators. They're not not very efficient upstairs by any means, but. It's nice having warm floors. Yeah. My uncle, when he built his house, that was like forever ago. It was a real big deal. It was like, uh, it was uh, pretty much all underground. It was all radiant heat with the water going through the walls and shit. It had, it had the dirt top. Up in the holler, up in the holler where them cows is. I'm trying to catch up on this chat with the uh, jackpot stuff that they're talking about. In the Stormer Discord, where you're seeing it. It's mostly just revolving around talking about jackpots. The million dollar multipliers have worse odds to get anything better than a uh, 2x. Interesting. Well, I guess it makes sense because the $2 one's up to 5 grand, $10 up to 25 grand. Uh, 
I'm not, I choose not to read any of that. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> <check thoughts. laughs> I just feel like it's too much sometimes. Like, everybody's got to throw in their two cents. Or I just feel like it's too much sometimes. Like, everybody's got to throw Holy in. Holy shit. Oh, too much sometimes. Oh, too much. Sometimes. Oh, too much. oh, help me, Jesus. I was gonna ask you, where is Fish Buffet? I haven't seen his ass in a long time. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't After COVID, they shut down all the buffets, my dude. <laughs> he switched his name back, and all of a sudden, fucking went missing. Gotta send a search crew for him in Canada. Hey, Hit name to... Hog. Thank you for the five biddies, my guy. He went to um, YouTube for a while, and then he came back to Twitch for a long time. I thought. What had happened with his name originally that he had to change it? Oh, I don't know. Like I said, dude, COVID, fucking cancel culture on the buffets. That sucks. <laughs> I enjoyed How did he stream. say it? He didn't take no one's shit. <laughs> he always said, uh, welcome to the fish buffet. Five fish star. Buffet. Five star fish buffet. Yeah. He seemed like a cool guy. He, for his age, he looked young as fuck, though. Was he old? Yeah, he's like 50-something. That's not old, but compared to the way he looks. Right, yeah. I would have put him, like, young, young. Yeah, he ran into there's some little fanboy in his chat. It's all that it fish, was, man. <laughs> it was like fucking 33, but that dude looked like he was 15. Couldn't get over the fact that that dude looks like him. You know, obviously, they were both Asian guys, you know. <clears throat> I'm only half. Only half. Boom. Half Asian, half awesome. What happened here? Holy fuck, sick bank. You got eliminated, bacon. <laughs> uh, yeah, the jam tens. I wasn't paying attention to what happened. I fucking jammed Jackson deep in that 33 last night, and I ran him into aces. Mm. Oh my god, I don't even know how to find my shit. Whatever. Oh. I think I feel like Fish Buffet. A lot of times he would, um, he would, uh, like he wouldn't get, he wouldn't understand like a joke or whatever, and he would get super fucking mad. I remember I stopped going into his stream because I joke around too much, and he never got it. <laughs> like you know when like you like, joke around with somebody who's got like Aspergers or something, and it's like they're like, like I I went to see um, Reddit's friend one time, and her kid has as I think it's how you say it, Aspergers, and um, he lost his cell phone, and I was like, oh, I threw it over the hill. And he fucking lost his mind, like, because uh, I was just joking, you know, because he came to me looking for his cell phone. The blame a guy. Not that, I, <laughs> not that I think that he has any, any kind of autism or whatever, but he never did understand anything I was trying to say. A lot of the English, uh, uh, he knew the words, but he didn't know the exact uh, definition. Right, and, and I, I found it weird because he fucking grew up in Canada, right? Like, like. Sort of. Like it's not like he's from the f a fucking old country. Yeah, he was born in Vietnam, and he came back. He came oh, over. Was he? Yeah, oh, but okay. he he's lived in not in America, in Canada for a while at least. I've lived in West Virginia my whole life, and I still don't understand some of the language. My wife uh, has an accent from where she's from, uh, South Texas, and she still has that fucking accent. And she's been here for twenty years, and no one has that accent unless you're from down there. <laughs> Streaming today, he's chilling. Oh god, label guy. Who oh, me? Nah, yeah, I'm just fucking around. I'm sick. I'm sick of it. Of it. <laughs> I can't. I can't poker anymore. All those... <laughs> oh man, Joey, man, ain't nobody talking about your accent, man. It's fine. Right? <laughs> Hang on, man. 
I used to date this girl who fucking out of nowhere when she had enough drinks with a country accent would come out, even though she wasn't from the country. <laughs> At first, I was like, that's kind of cute. You know, they didn't really say much, but then I'm like, what the fuck is up with the, the accent? She's like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, that! <laughs> this is funny. Oh, this yeah. As far as, like, jokes with with Asian people, like, Asian languages are very direct and to the point, very blunt. <laughs> So subtleties in English language and jokes that might be a pun or play on words, like usually go over people's yeah. heads. That's, that's like magic add, in my vocabulary. <laughs> but when you add, you're an awesome asshole. They don't really understand that it's a joke. Right. I feel like my dad. <laughs> my dad's real straightforward. With his jokes. What's up, Skullbone? Roadkill deer. How fresh was it, label guy? Yeah, we need to know how fresh the roadkill deer was. And that's rough. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it's just for the oh, it's cold out. Yeah. Yeah, so it's it it's cold it's enough. Cold. It won't have it won't have bugs crawling all over it. Was it a big one? Or Still a steaming, one? open them up. Nice man, free meat, dude. Was it still steaming when you crawled out of it, though? Oh. Pinky <laughs> Polly short clip or in the Pinky Polly. It's the Lion oh. Tower of Chissa. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's hilarious. I seen he's on TikTok now. I thought he was dead. Oh, that dude's never going to die. He was on TikTok with the guy that's on like the 90 Day Fiance that huh. doesn't have a neck. I always thought that he was just some kind of like unknown dude oh, who got okay, famous. But his mom owned the, the the famous comedy club. Like he knew, he knew celebrities already. Nine times out of ten, it's all it's all like that. I know I know you don't really like this setup, but I really like it. It just seems fresh and fucking bright for some reason. Which one? Your office setup. Oh. oh. I don't know. I would think you even look younger on this one too. Oh, thanks. I look younger here. Fuck yeah. I look younger, babe. Who's the lighting at work? I don't know. It's just LED lights that I have uh, in the ceiling. That's what it is. I am the fish buffet. Right. It's going to be stuck <laughs> in my head now. <laughs> come out of retirement i still have the thumbnails from when we did the heads up challenge he was the my my first opponent in the stormers heads up challenge we had him rocked and then he just came back at the end and, and destroyed me i remember one of the uh and that i spun a 50 dollar one it was a 10x 500 and he was in the in the spin with me and he uh was playing good and then i'm like you know what i'm not gonna sit here and fuck around with you this is they play play uh, D, uh for it all kept shoving him and he he kept putting behave <laughs> <laughs> in the chat yeah <laughs> behave Is this just for shits and giggles? Is this spin, or are you gonna do this today? Oh, we just fucking. I don't know. These are uh, it's pretty fast. Well, somebody was saying these don't pop off, and it was actually Karai Poker who's at this table, and this is Karai Poker's friend Fees over here. So, so the million dollar ones pop off like crazy, but Karai says that the multipliers are highly unlikely to ever be above a 2x because of the large jackpot. He said these are more profitable. Million dollar ones, you get a lot of 2x, um, 4x, and 6x. So the ones you get. A hell of a lot of uh, 2x's and... 
trickle off of the four and six X. It's not just all twos. I've done it where I used to play them every day, all day. That's crazy. The thing with these guys is that it totally fucking uh, haywires your MTT game because you're so you're so quick and uh, the ranges are different. Then you go play MTTs and you're just like, got to refocus. You can lose a shitload on these spins that you're losing. Ah. Where? Oh. <clears throat> I just had some refried beans with bacon juice. For the first time, I think, like, in fucking three years. For some reason, when you said that, I pictured the bacon juice in a cup. I usually do that, but this time I didn't do that. I left it in the in the pan and just threw the beans in there. No, but I mean, like, you were drinking it, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I probably would if it didn't burn me. I used to do, uh, throw, your, throw a piece of bread in the bacon grease, fry it up like that. So bad for you. It was so delicious. Oh, I never tried that. That sounds good. Oh, it's crazy good. It's because my kids and my wife don't eat pork, so it's like I'm doing illegal drugs right now in the house because they're gone. <laughs> they're going to walk in and go, did you make bacon? <laughs> I'm always making bacon. Yeah. Like, no, I was just watching them. Oh, my, I'm serious. My kids look at pork bacon like it's fucking poison. <laughs> no. He's got them to that where they just don't even think about pork at all. <clears throat> you guys ever had a, a little roasted pig like with an apple on it i have not no it melts in your mouth like butter amazing i've done the uh, I'm sure it's I've bad for you smoked, but... Uh, smoked pork roast pretty... but that was good yeah it got pretty tender real juicy yeah. And then I was at a DoorDash and it was like forty-seven dollars for like. I was like, this, this, this is ridiculous, and it was like twelve thirty. I told my wife, I'm just gonna fucking go. Be, it'll get here quicker. Um, it'll be cheaper. You know, it's not that far. Like, Are you sure? I'm like, yeah. I, just, I don't want to spend fifty bucks on. Yeah, so I went myself, and it still ended up being like thirty-seven bucks. So it really wasn't that bad. You ever make a brisket? Dude, briskets are so good. They're expensive, though. Yeah, I, I've never made a brisket, but my friends and family do it all the time. Oh man, so you, you gotta have like a you gotta have like a party or whatever because it's so much food. I mean, unless you get a small one. Brisket sandwiches for a week. Yeah, that's what I did. Nobody here would eat them, so I was like, I just ate the fuck a whole half a cow for a week. Uh, if if you the brisket was some nice, mayonnaise, nice. yeah, 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 all caps lock range. You won twenty dollars. Yay! <laughs> that's weird. They didn't ask you to join another one. They changed that up. Oh, look, we got a 6X. Nice. Oh, nice. Little, little pinky purple. Little pinky purple. It is just you three playing those, huh? Huh? Yeah, the, the same guy? Oh, the wrong Oh, hitting there is a new guy. Did the sellers have this the wrong part, or we buy the wrong part? We bought the wrong part. Okay. Um, but I called uh, Panasonic and their parts department, like, happened, so... Yeah, give me price. Uh, I don't think we can return that because we ordered the wrong thing. It's fine, it'll just float around. Okay. What'd y'all buy? It's a replacement screen for a Panasonic Tough Book. It's the wrong part. What's up there, Corey? The screen on a Tough Book broke. Yeah, for a client replacing the screen. Hello? 
What happened? Um, that was weird. I hung on something. He was getting his abacus out and ready for battle. <laughs> yeah. Anytime I hear that, I always think of SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Patrick falls on his abacus. Yeah, I broke my abacus. Uh, let's take it, Valden. Here, I need a shark skirt. This guy. How fucking bad are you? Dude? I took my kids to the skate park yesterday by our house. There was yeah. some uh, like eighteen year old guy, and I, I assume his girlfriend was around the same age as him. They were skateboarding, both of them. And Here we he was go. Fell and broke her ankle. Ouch. Yeah, like it was hanging, and my kids were like, Why is it hanging like that? I go, Because it's broken. You're cordially <laughs> invited right. into a Bacon's Twitch stream. I like it. Sometimes it won't uh, let me type Crisco. I don't know why, but I would do that. I just keep freezing. They're at the fucking corporate office. Like, what the fuck? A 6X on a $10 buy-in? <laughs> you gotta get that pause. Your game has been paused. Flip the Doom switch. Is it because somebody's sitting out? We need you to read um, Corey's bio. Okay. Check out That Bread, though, at twitch.tv slash that bread, though. Hello, I am Corey, a.k.a. That Bread, though, from USA 33. From February 1st, I will be streaming 1,000 hours of poker in 75 days. That's too much. Oh. USA 33 is a country you've never heard of. <laughs> Not to be confused with 34. I have no idea what's going on. I don't know why. I love when, when one of them sits out. It makes it much easier. I think he's like disconnected probably. There's something going on with the table. Maybe he's sitting out trying to find your Twitch stream. <laughs> what you put in chat. Yeah, there's a massive delay between hands. This is crazy. It's happened to me a few times on the, on the smaller ones, I guess they're all the same. It was break time too. Good luck, us. Check bet jams, my favorite kind of jelly. Oh yeah, check bet jam. That's the jam of lay. Oh, 
Gross. Sevens versus nines? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, what? Yeah, Jay, blessing you, bro. You're going to win every time. Check bet jam. Check bet jam. No, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Make him poop in a bag. Yeah. Tell him tell him they're gonna lose toilet privileges, they're gonna have to poop in a bag like a little dog. I know if I was jokingly telling my four year old to poop in a bag, he would. <laughs> I pooped in a bag. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> Check that jam. It needs to be a poker song. So once fee is set back in, the hands are being dealt normally. That's weird. Yeah, yeah no. I when, whenever I play these, if someone's disconnected, ACR kind of gives them a little mini courtesy, like to slow things down. I don't know why, but they do. I don't feel like it's on purpose. There's something wrong with it's those. really it's really tilting when uh. They do it when your head's up and they're disconnected and they're waiting forever to deal their hands even though they're sitting out. Just this paper plastic. <laughs> paper plastic. No, neither. Whitey. <laughs> no, he means the bag you poop in. Oh, fuck not. I, I have trouble pooping on anything but a toilet. Oh, my wife says paper because it's eco-friendly. They've got that gluten-free diet, and you can go with that paper because you got the nice, dry, solid rocks. Yeah, but if you poop in paper, you could bury it as fertilizer, and it'll all disintegrate. There is an ongoing debate with some of my friends. When pooping in the woods, hold on to the tree or lean back into the tree? Hold on to the tree. I just, I just squat, dude. Just squat out in the open. That's the easiest way to poop. I lean back against the tree. I mean, I guess you could bear hug the tree and shit down the tree. That's weird. Hitting is like a, a peaceful thing. Like, it's hard when it's forced. Hang like you're doing uh, chin-ups. <laughs> Spread your legs. Remember when I was a teenager, my buddy had dared me to shit on his cousin's car. <laughs> it, was, it was at night, though. Like It was like midnight or something. And, um, I feel like, like dare was in quotations. <laughs> he was gonna give me 50 bucks to do this and we all wanted to go uh to denny's and i'm like fuck it let's go so i, I went to do it and I, it's incredibly hard first of all so i'm doing it and then my stupid ass other friend drives his car onto the lawn to flash his headlights on me to see what i'm doing and my friend's cousin who's a female comes out what the fuck are you doing and everyone's laughing and i'm trying to shit on her car <laughs> so i fucking pull up my pants and I fucking, you know, we're all, we're all laughing. She's kind of pissed, but I, I need to go to the bathroom. So I run to her bathroom and I walk into her bathroom and the floor is covered with clothing. So I'm like, oh, this is a shithole. You know, like no one has this who cares about their house. So I'm, I'm taking a shit and there's no TP. And I'm like, dude, uh, he's grasping from the floor because I'm not going to leave with myself all messed up. So, you know, I finish up and I throw the whatever it was in the trash and I go outside and we're, you know, laughing, whatever. She comes back outside yelling, who did this? <laughs> and, and everyone's like, what? Who did this? And she has a garment in her in her hand, shit all over it. <laughs> and everyone's laughing. She's like, this is my great grandmother's sweater that she gave me. And it was like some special sweater, and I'm like, why was it on the floor then? Like trash. Like, no, <laughs> she got all mad, threw us out. <laughs> it was bad. That sweater was fucked up. You need to clip that so it'll be like the weirdest Denny's ad ever. <laughs> Get it from the Denny's. Yeah, we went. I got my fifty bucks. <laughs> I told myself I'd never do that again. It was just ridiculous. The a vein in my forehead almost popped trying to do that. <laughs> the first time that I uh, took a dump in the woods when I was in the army, 
Like we were in, uh, we were out in the field and we've been eating MREs and they're just like, you know, they're just like solid protein. Like there's nothing good in them. And I was, I didn't want to shit in the woods. So I was like trying to hold my shit in. And when I finally went, like I had to go like fast and I turned it around to bury it. And when I had shit, like some little, um, like, I don't know what they were, I guess like fucking snail shells or whatever, because we were in Hawaii. Like, I don't know what kind of bug it was or whatever, but it was, it was like rolled up in the shit and I thought I had worms. So like I went to the doctor, <laughs> whatever. And, like, and then I realized that it was like seashells or some shit. Okay. But it was like little twirly like things or whatever. And like, you know, I didn't want to look at my shit for a long time. So I just buried it. It was like, well, I got worms <laughs> holding this turd in forever. I had to eat some noodles in high school. The same thing happened to me, but I was at home. I thought I had worms, and I, I went to my aunt all fucking scared. Like, are you sure? I'm like, I saw a fucking worm. And she's like, okay, well, come here. And we, we laugh. I thought we were going to the doctor. She goes to the fucking store to buy a pack of cigarettes. She doesn't even smoke. But there's some remedy when you have worms that you eat fucking cigarette ash, and it kills them. Oh she gave God. me some cigarette ash, and she goes, you're good now. Go ahead. You, you won't see worms anymore. And then I realized that it wasn't worms. I just ate fucking cigarettes for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. This is all restaurants we're talking about. <laughs> the guy who wipes his ass with her sweater's defense is, why did you leave the sweater on the floor of your car? <laughs> you know, I know you guys when y'all were younger went to parties and these party houses that just looked like shit and had clothes all over the place. That's what it looked like. You know, you know, it's still a rude comment, I understand, but come on, you can't you want to see the fifth Yeah, you leave it on the floor and wipe my ass with the twenty or nineteen out of twenty locations throughout the US. All the They all brought back four taken byproducts that's not me. We only have one discernible DNA sample of two men. Let's be honest, we all want chicken salad anyways when we go to Subway. Crazy. Are they being sued? They're being sued. I feel like Subway's got like the bad karma. First Jared and then this oh, dolphin yeah. tuna Crazy. shit. For the fake tuna. <laughs> Tell, that. Tell that guy I got a six inch pork tuna for him. Or two. <laughs> this just in chat. The tuna at Subway is not tuna. Nine out of ten restaurants, Subway restaurants. The tuna was tested. Had no trace of no traces of actual tuna DNA. It was all compounds of chicken and beef and all kinds of shit. Pork. But isn't isn't that better though? Like, not if you're a pescatarian. Yeah, that's not a real word. True. The fish are a lot leaner than those other 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 meat. Go in there wearing your special shirts, trying to get a tuna sandwich. Should be in church anyways. But are those the ones that wear the special undergarments? Oh, hey Joe, I got a shitload of stories, dude. That are probably needed to start with a rated R fucking rating before we start. Funny ass stories though. Funny, funny stories. Does anybody find these fun? <laughs> I mean, you you win one and then you lose twelve. So you, <laughs> you you lose all the ones that matter. Yeah. That's a drawing, right? Another thing about the dolphin free thing, like that whole uh, dolphin free, like that, they really can't. It's like not dolphin safe or whatever. It's not even dolphin free. It's supposed to be dolphin safe. Is what the actual thing is. They kill a fuck ton of dolphins when they're getting those tunas. 
All right, we need to make a new Google Sheet. For the leaderboard? <laughs> no, no, I did that already. Let's see. Whoa. Do you know I could type? Do you know typing is a thing? It's live. You need to change the game title to live typing. Live typing. You should change, it, change the game to punting. There's a game called Classic Punter. Oh, yeah. Let's see what in the city I live in, we go all the time. <laughs> You didn't visit SeaWorld? You've been shitting on the killer whales? There's a ride where uh, you're like on this little circular thing where you're in the rapids and shit at SeaWorld where we live. We were in there with a dad and his son one time. The son was a real petite little dude. <clears throat> it caught his ass because he was going to fly out of that thing. That's crazy. The sea boat was too big for him. It might have been bad. That's not a stickers <laughs> floating on the water, kids. No. Oh, God. They got a water park area at the SeaWorld. Um, and they have like a wave pool area. And they evacuate people every time a kid shits in the fucking water. <laughs> like how you say it, like it happens all the time. Every fucking out. time I've been to that water park. <laughs> They pause it for fucking 10 minutes while the shit crew goes in there and catches that boat. <laughs> Every time they fish it out, the guy's like, yes, another one from my collection. <laughs> Keeps it in I'm just there. saying, like, shit is shit. It's, it's pretty sick, but as long as it's just, like, kids having these accidents, not adults. Sometimes you just don't want to get out of the pool. <laughs> I'm wondering if, if, uh, if my friend's cousin ended up washing that fucking sweater to try to revive it or just. You know, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, so we need some values to make this work. It's it was a white sweater, by the way. It's like a really bad Taylor Swift song. Wrapped his ass with my sweater. Favorite so I'm first of eleven in a dollar fifty on demand. Yeah, that's pro. I'm saying, you know. Oh, so you're gonna be more meticulous about your uh, your role now instead of just following a management? You're gonna log everything? Yeah, we'll see. I need you to port the uh, stream music into Discord. Feels weird not listening to music. I'm sorry. No, I'm just kidding. I apologize. Just seems really weird. I guess I can turn my own on really low. Is this play music, Crisco? Your platform. <laughs> yes. Where's that sweater at? It was almost Animal Crossing's theme. I mean, come on, we've all shit our pants and wore our pants again. This is different if you shit in your own pants. Yeah, could have. The worst good. place to shit in your pants, though, is when you're in, when you're asleep. Uh, the worst place to shit in your pants is the front pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the worst place, trust me. <laughs> Is it snowing in uh over there where you're at, Crystal? Where am I where was you where was you gonna say I'm at? 
Virginia? What? Virginia? Bro, we segregated. <laughs> West, West Virginia. Virginia. The best part of Virginia is West Virginia. I'll tell you what, I like West Virginia. Uh, yeah, we got, we got a pretty, pretty good snow a couple days ago. Just cold now. Yeah. Sorry. I apologize. Bless you. It's your fucking soul trying to get out, man. I know, I know. I didn't even hear you sneeze. He mutes, he's a pro. He mutes shit. Oh, I got uh, this. Let me know, let me know if you can hear this. Nice. Oh, I hit my tooth. Funny bone. Found that the other day when I was looking for my capo. I actually like that sound. If you're kind of mad or annoyed and you play that sound, it's hard to be. <laughs> Fuck. It's going to be a fucking nightmare to do this. The spreadsheets are gross. Four days. It is dark outside. Yes. I'm so good at this game, everybody. Do you have a goal as far as like your start off where you want would like to end? No, to the moon. <laughs> That's the thing, though, right? Like, it's hard to meet. Like, if I, if I don't have a goal, I have nothing to work towards. Like, I just don't do anything. I just fucking like meander around and butt around. And I never make a goal. I don't know why I don't do that. Do you work better under pressure? I don't think so, no. How have you been doing on the felts? Me? Yeah. Terrible. Terrible. Shit. I played a tournament today. I got uh, ace queen and uh, ace jack twice. And uh, I got beat both times. You got Olaid? Were you, were you deep or were you low? Deep. Yeah, I was. Uh, yeah, we were, yeah, the last one was the bubble. Damn. And I, was, I think I was chip leading the first time. It was all downhill after that. Are you trying to spin into the, the Venom still? Yeah. Yeah, like 2,700 spins. Wow. I think, wait. Yeah. Yeah, 2,700. Have you, have you, and it's all pennies, right? Fuck yeah, this yeah. sheet. Delete it. Oh my God, I want to let you delete it. Yes. So satisfying. You wasted all that time. <laughs> <laughs> You should download Hearthstone, Bacon. Become a Hearthstone streamer with me. Google. Google. Got a Bacon in the box. <clears throat> Let's see if we unlocked any achievements. I hate that they reset after the G started. Like I was like, it was so good. More poop stories, please. When I was little, like little, little, like probably second grade, third grade, I was playing at my neighbor's house, and they had there was three brothers, right? And they would fight all the time. So one day, the youngest brother went and shit on the other brother's bed. <laughs> But this, this was the biggest turd I'd ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> Still to this day. It was like driftwood. It was crazy. How old were you guys? I mean, whatever you are in like first or second grade. Oh, like seven or six or something? Yeah. yeah. But he just shit on his bed out of spite yeah, just to piss him off. Like he like smacked him or something. He's like, all right, I'm going to shit in your bed. Let's say whatever he did, my mind upset. 
if it kicks into roll over, does the IPSEC still let them? No, it'll, the IPSEC will die. The, the 4G failover isn't isn't static so we can't even set up a failover for the IPsec tunnel there but but there's so even if we manually set it it's still in the next we can do it say it happens more 40 roll then we tweak it the settings to point that this new one here there's a chance of there might be a dynamic DNS address we could use but uh, Never done it before. Yeah. Try and reach out to them and see if they have anything like that. I feel like they're reenacting a scene from the Matrix. <laughs> you started saying your story. I don't know why. I guess it unlocked a memory. <laughs> when I was in fourth grade, we had a sleepover at a friend's house. It was like four of us. We slept at his house. Well, that night, my stomach was fucked up. And I ended up fucking sharding on my fucking pants. <laughs> and I ended up doing a move where I just took my underwear off and threw them in, in the in the trash. And, and yeah. I, you know, went, went back to fucking whatever. So my friend, whose house it was, I guess went to the restroom and fucking saw the fucking underwear with shit on him. He came back to the, to, the, to his room <clears throat> and he's like, who the fuck took a shit on themselves? And I was fucking, you know, kind of embarrassed. I go, the one who says it did it. And then the other two guys were like, yeah, you did it. So <laughs> they all were fucking with him the whole night. Started crying. <laughs> Ended up sleeping with his mom. And we slept in his room by ourselves. And then like the following Monday uh, at school, the whole school was calling him shit boy. Oh my God. <laughs> And he, he ended up fucking like crying like for a whole week every day because they, they were calling him shitty boy. <clears throat> I eventually told him that I was the one who did it, and he goes, oh, I fucking hate you. And we, were kind of, we were kind of best friends, and he's like, I fucking hate you. You ruined my life. That's fucked up, dude. <laughs> he ended up moving schools because, I don't know if it was because of that reason, but he ended up moving. I was like, damn. <laughs> Dave said once in college, me and some friends were walking down an abandoned train track and I had to poop. I took a poop in the woods and then jumped off a 30 foot bridge to wipe my ass. <laughs> With the air? Like the air? Just. <laughs> he got blow dried and then went. <laughs> Blew the shit right out of his ass crack. That's pretty sick. You see him just jumping with his hands on his butt, spreading his cheeks, screaming, "I regret nothing." I don't, I don't understand why he had to jump off a thirty-foot bridge on an abandoned train tracks. It takes, it takes a lot of wind. Oh, because he was on the, on the bridge probably when he shit himself. And he's like, "Fuck this." If I don't bank this dollar fifty on demand, I'm gonna quit poker for for a month. Dollar fifty on demand. What are you gonna stream if you yeah. do that? Nothing. Like a variety show. I'm gonna work on my fancy boy twerk stream that we were talking about earlier. Hell yeah! What what, what, what I call it? I can't remember. What is that? Late reg? Did you say dollar fifty? Yeah. If I don't win it. You're going to win it. What if I keep calling with 7 8 off? Oh, wait. I'm waiting for mine to pop up. What the hell? $15 PKO for anyone interested. On demand. You just gotta jump right before you hit the ground, Jave. Yeah. Use that double jump button. You're, you're talking about the feet. $15 high low? No, no. It's it's registering. It's waiting for one more player. Um, on demand. Oh, you're doing a sitting go? Yeah, the on demand PKO $15. On demand PKO. KO. Hey-oh. 
fucking blind. I can't see a PKO 15 dollars. Probably the last thing I could play. Then I'll do a little bit of work. Apparently, I have to go yell at people for not cleaning up after mm-hmm. themselves. Speaking of shit stories. Oh god, yeah, it's definitely out of my range. Hey, look, there's mm-hmm. cheese bunnies. Cheese bunnies ain't gonna know what hit him. He's to my left. <laughs> I have to drop bombs. He says, he says I know what hit me. That's the sound of your big blunts. <laughs> oh, there's Poden. Hey, what's up, White Smoke? White Smoke is the doo doo. <laughs> Sorry, we have, we have on today's stream. We've been talking about poop stories. I told you guys about my trip to uh, Jeju Island when I was a kid, right? Yes, that's. I'm surprised you hadn't brought that story up. That's. A yeah. story. I don't think I've heard that. So uh, we go to Korea with my mom. We're we're kind of young. I, I might be like 14, maybe somewhere around there. Uh, we leave Seoul. And leave her sister and our cousins. We fly to Jeju Island. We catch a taxi. And they're taking us from the airport at Jeju all the way to our hotel on the other side of the island. We stop at this, like, little kind of divey Korean restaurant on the way because it was getting dark. My mom had ordered a bunch of food. And we were eating it, whatever. And she told me... uh, you know, this was snail soup, and I was like, whatever, sure. Even at that age, like, I was introduced as cargo and all that stuff. I was fine with that. It didn't gross me up. So I'm just eating the snail soup, and then I, when I finished it, my mom looked over, and she was like, wait, what, what happened to the, the ends of the snails? I was like, I ate it. She's like, no, you're not supposed to eat the ends. You're not supposed to eat the whole snail. <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. She was like, you you might get sick. I was like, oh, whatever, I feel okay. Go to the hotel finally. <laughs> lay down to sleep because we had been traveling all day. Wake up probably at like 2 or 3 in the morning. I have soiled the entire fucking bed. <laughs> the fucking... Cause, just loose Because the, right? the entrails, yeah, just loose diarrhea just in the entire bed <laughs> that I was sharing with my brother, my younger brother. <laughs> Apparently, eating the entrails of snails is a diuretic, and it's right. like a oriental medicine thing. Well, I ate a whole giant fucking bowl full of these fucking things. <laughs> <laughs> it's cleaning time. And, uh, you know, that was a huge mess. Had to quietly wake my brother up after I was able to take a bath and clean myself off and all that stuff and move him. It's like, hey, buddy, I shit all over you. <laughs> and, uh, no, no, he didn't, he didn't cover anything. It was, it was, it was okay. We're, we're leaving to go do our daily activities or whatever. I think we were going to the beach that day. And... She sees the cleaning lady in the hall coming down. She hands her a $20 bill and like five packs of American cigarettes and says, I'm so sorry as we leave. <laughs> These camels. That's funny. Right. That's like the only shit story I have, I think. Pretty sure. Seems like you're unlocking all these shit stories. Here's some cash and some cigarettes. Good luck, lady. <laughs> Never seen her again. I'm rich.
you ever fart in your hand and catch it and then put it in somebody's face? Is that good? No. But I have farted where I thought I threw a dump on my pants and it was a false alarm. It was so hot. Okay. <laughs> Spicy. One of my friends or uh, coworkers uh, traumatized a fucking maid, a roommate, and the GM of a hotel one time. <laughs> we went to go work in, in New Orleans and we took a crew with us to, to, to do this job. One of the guys was a ex-firefighter, real cool guy. He was older than us though. And he decided to challenge one of my friends who's like a walking fucking alcohol bottle. Shots of 151. So these dummies, <clears throat> my friend who won ended up taking like 24 151 shots. Fucking vomited at the bar like m multiple times in their Rudy Mo. The older guy, I think, stopped at 14 and was fucking done. And so we ended up going back to the hotel. Go to our rooms. Uh, the guy who won was my roommate. <laughs> so, you know, he was fucking dying in the fucking restroom. But he was fine. But the other guy who challenged him, we go to work at 6 in the morning, by the way. We left the bar at 4. <clears throat> we go... And we go down to the to the floor we're gonna we're gonna do this job at and that guy's roommate is there like fucking bundled up in a corner like he looks like traumatized i go hey juan you're fucking here early dude what, what, what's up because he didn't go on and drink with us and he's like dude fucking ron i go what what, what do you mean he goes fucking ron he kept saying fucking ron and i go what's up what's up with ron he's like this dude fucking shit all over the walls in his bed and he's walking around naked and fucking singing and I go what he goes I told him to stop but he kept fucking trying to dance with me <laughs> so I, I I got my shit and got the fuck out of here I've been here since you know 4 a.m. or whatever oh my god I'm like, I'm like what oh uh, that guy Rod doesn't come to work so we're at work whatever and and trying to call him, text him or whatever. He he doesn't fucking reply. So then the guy who hired us to do the job, who's the director out there, comes to me. So I need to talk to you, Jake. And I'm like, okay. He goes, what in the fuck happened last night? <laughs> I'm like, that I really don't know what happened. Kind of what Juan told me. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. He goes, who's in room? Blah blah blah. And I go, I don't know. Oh, hold on. I just got attacked by some kids. We got attacked. Like, yo, you got games on your phone? I have another poop story. Nice. I'm not going to beg you for it. I'm just waiting for Pug to come back. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I feel like I should have more poop stories, but I don't have any. matter i hate open ender like i ch freaking chase an open ender like like there's gonna be seven rivers so, doing the what yeah He's trying to figure out this, um, it's like a box. 
and check through the Discord of my buildings and blacklist them. You have to check them out and do the buildings. Discord Nitro links from spam accounts or? Yeah, but first he wants to get rid of the spam accounts for you to do a sync. Because he saw it on the other, the other follow up channel. Um, that's the reason this one's coming up with the other follow up channel. So there's literally thousands of members who are from that, that one coming up. So he's worried that he's going to start getting attacked. Yeah. So, probably the best free Discord bot you could install would be called Me6. Like Me Seeks. Free, free is actually, we, we can go with paid. So well, they have a premium version that's a lot yeah. more powerful. Let's do that. So, what was the name of that? Me and the number six. M E E six. I'm looking it up. Yeah. Well, he should he should have it set up that if you know that he's helping him, they sent him something. Yeah, he has it as a. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. He's low enough. The dude has four. A hundred subscribers over and He has like five thousand views on his videos, and he's not talking to anything. He's just gameplay. This game's cool. We can be known. Discord. Can you tell what's going on? Is there a... Let me release this channel. I'm going to check it out. Yeah. The movie called like, H-Rounds. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 This one has to do with the There's tons of like regular just you can place a skin for the TV and stuff that's broken down. They're not just like, why is this food not made to stand? And uh, broken and it's smoky. But hitboxes are actually cool. You can shoot through the window, you can duck them into the tire, you can shoot through the tire. The vanilla one, because it's a little So, you would be standing on the tire, and there's nothing, but there's just a Boat and Diver come back? You get a No. Basically, it's a game of the housing. What up? He released that after the world and he was like, he was just like, well, it's my friend, so you can bring my hanging out over here. But everything he came in his kitchen What the hell's so going on here? It was in his server, so they gave him a chat. Like a little, like, general chat text. Billions of people were like, reacting to his shit, but his little picture. Has like thousands of emojis on it. It's, yeah, it's crazy. And uh, that's what he's dealing with now. Is like, you know, I'm gonna get like, blacklisted by like spam bots and like real hackers are gonna come to this Discord to be like, he's gonna have to check. That's what happens. You don't always see him. Like, put in fishing word links. Um, the most popular ones is just Discord and Echo. It's a free mode or whatever, but it's just a sky. Does take you back to this or to pay for it in the metro? But it's really. It's like an embedded iframe window and it just takes all your data before it form submits. Yeah. yeah. So you're in Discord doing your thing. 
Yeah. So you swipe your credit card info, payment info, whatever. You're still purchasing from Discord, but there's a mask that's capturing all the data that's being passed mm -hmm. through the site. I think you can even get your Discord. Account. Yeah. People can get into your like. They get, they get, they get your uh, OAuth tokens when you go through that too. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what he's worried about the most. The real Yeah, sketchy, yeah. And here's a top zip, you know, compress that sort of very sketchy way that even when you click it, your computer's gonna be like, don't do it, please don't do it. But it's like. Yeah. 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 It's all on the line. Thanks. Good luck, Crisco. Good luck, heads up, man. Sorry, he's coming in and telling us about his buddy's YouTube channel is blowing up because full of Fallout mods and stuff. That sounds crazy. Mod modding's a big fucking world. You know, yeah. Thing out there in that. All games. You know. So the year is 1993 or 1994. I'm either seven or eight years old. My mother pulls me out of school and takes my brother, who's either three or four years old at the time, to a movie set to be extras in a film called The Fight Before Christmas, which was later uh, actually named uh, Troublemakers? Hang on, let me double check. Let me double check. Yeah, Troublemakers? We're on scene, going back and forth. This is at uh, Ghost Town movie set maybe Bonanza Creek here in Santa Fe or whatever we're dressed up like Chinese wash boys my mom's Chinese wash woman it's a west it's like comedy spaghetti western type film sure in between scenes where we needed to be extras I really needed to shit I'm running around the movie set into fake buildings, back and forth, trying to find a bathroom. No. <laughs> and I can't ask anyone where it is because they're in the middle of filming. Those microphones pick up everything, right? So I'm just running from building to building, basically, trying to stay out of everyone's way. And... Um... I cannot find a bathroom. I can't hold it anymore. I'd literally just fill up my fucking underwear with shit while trying to find the bathroom. And because I'd been running around the set so much, I didn't even know where the fuck I was. <laughs> so now I'm looking for my mom with my underwear full of shit, wearing like whitey tighties. Right. So just there, I'm walking around lost, can't find my mom, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. That is pretty embarrassing. That's rough. <laughs> I remember getting uh, the flu in school and, and shitting and puking all over the place. I, I puked twice, like I, I remember puking in the doorway. So everybody had to be evacuated out the fire exit. <laughs> like every every room had a fire exit. And then I puked in the hallway. 
and then I I made it to the bathroom. I I pull my pants down, but then end up just standing up, shitting my pants while they're off. It was terrible. That was like first grade. And thank God we moved like a year later. Oh man, it was bad. Like I had the flu. I was sick for like two or three days after that. Dang seven. Yeah, I had suppressed that until today. I was pooped off. <laughs> You're gonna see more than grandma on the sweater to top of the shit. Jesus. <laughs> yes, who can top? Who's got the best shit in their self story? A new leaderboard. This King of the North guy just doesn't know what's on the line here. Uh, the King of the North guy is really back. annoying. Jave, did you hear about Elvis? They found him in a um, insane asylum. They checked his DNA and everything. It's the real deal. I'm just going to keep betting third pair. I thought they said that guy was his brother. Oh, is that what you're saying now? Yeah, that is the DNA is uh, similar, but it's his brother. I missed that part. Fuck. Hang on, I gotta cancel an invoice and void an agreement. <laughs> Cool. We punted, but back in. You all, everybody. You all, everybody. Wearing expensive clothes. Sales clients. Full screen because this thing's broken. When I hear that song in my head, I hear like a whole barbershop quartet singing it with like right baritones and highs and lows. And it's really weird. It's very strange. <laughs> it shouldn't be a thing. Label guy's looking for his kickback on the Hallmark store. Did anything happen with the Hallmark store? I have no idea. Let me ask James. Is James even here today? You a senior? My wife's getting senior ads, guys. Probably because she likes dirt candles. Dirt scent. Fresh dirt is Nina's favorite scent. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, fun fact, that is the poop of the worm bacteria stuff. 
That's what you smell in dirt? Oh, wow. Yeah. What's the bacteria called again? What's the bacteria called again? In the dirt. With this new vanity plate, I, I need to like wrap my truck in like a lime green color. Pretty, pretty nice. Out. Was that a vanity plate I got? Is is Reptar? <laughs> yeah, I remember you told me yesterday. That's pretty nice. You need to get um, <laughs> you need to get one on the front that says "you all," and then one on the back that says "everybody." <laughs> And then put vinyl stickers on the side with the numbers. Yes. 4, 8, 15, 16, 27, 32. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was wrong. 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 42. It's been so long. Yeah. The show's so old. We were telling our daughter about that show. Like it you was can like make me folk. giant final sheets. Of rap. I actually don't know how to fucking do that stuff. I would ruin it. I have to use somebody local to do that shit. You just be out there scraping it on with a credit card. <laughs> Nina, is this yeah. Straight? Look, it's getting air bubbles. <laughs> Oh, it's the worst. We we did a full wrap on the company uh, transit van. First, the guy took like six months, which was ridiculous and unacceptable. And then when he installed it, when he printed the vinyls, like everything like smeared and shit, and he still put it on the van. He still charged full price and everything for it. Pissed me off so much. And But there are air bubbles and stuff. And little holes that let water in so over time like the wrap just turned into total shit yeah that's no good I'm trying to figure out if we still actually need that for the company or not or if I should just sell it because they hold pretty decent resale value you see that last hand at our table the what did you watch the last ad? <laughs> I don't know if I saw it. Did you felt Tigris? Uh, sort of. I've been raised, and he shipped shipped on me, and I called him. He had fives, and I had sevens. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, I did see that. Yes, and you rivered yeah. the set, but you didn't need it anyway. Oh, no, he flopped the full house with fives. Oh, he did. Yeah, five, ten, ten, and the river was a seven to give me a bigger full house. Oh, wow, that's oh, gross. Well, any 10 would have made your, your hand win, too. Yeah, that would have, but it didn't seem like it was going to happen. My wee wee is green, is at our table. Who's that? Uh, Mr. Mr. Cash is back. Oh, I didn't know that was his ACR name. Yeah. I have a, I have a tag on him. <laughs> it says love the place spin with him <laughs> my so wee wee nice. is green and he needs to go see a doctor to fix it I don't have any bounties in this shit yet. That's where all the money is, too, man. How many spots getting paid? Like three or four? Uh, currently three. 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 Yeah, this is super bounty heavy. Just weird. Weird. Because starting bounty is only 375. Right. Yeah, those are tough. I mean, those are only like fun if you get a lot of runners in them. 
Well, Tigra has what, six bucks on his head, and he's on his way out. Yeah. yeah. Call him pretty Call wide. Him. He's waiting. Gonna have my bounty. That's fine. Did you hit the eight? No, I have. I had a five. <laughs> you hit something. You hit something. <laughs> Get the last one, it's the only one that matters. Easier said than done. No, oh, I had some of your outs there. Sorry, Bowden. I just need a queen. Uh, queen or Jack? Out of five. Mm. Oh, good. I had Jack six. <laughs> Bottle of wine. Welcome to the Bacon Crisco morning talk show where we tell you the real shit stories. To gamble. Get your gamble on. Gamble. Hello, the giant FedEx truck. I'll let Ace Queen go. You can keep it. I only had Ace Ten suited. It's good. I'd rather have you at the table. <laughs> You guys watch the new Jimmy Fallon show where they um they sing karaoke and shit? No. I think it's called That's My Jam. It's kinda neat. They made uh they made this one guy sing it was the um, oh, I don't know, Barry it was the Barry White, Barry Gibbs. So he had to go like low and high while he was singing. It was really fucked up. <laughs> it was pretty funny. They make him play musical instruments too, like on the fly, like an accordion, some kind of trombone thing. If Label Guy had a show called That's My Jam, it would be about making jams and jellies, not singing. We need to read more people's bios. Did we do Potence? Mine's garbage. I bet Potence is blank. Nope. Well, if I typed his name incorrectly. No. Oh, yeah. Potence, he is just awesome, dude. <laughs> They're awesome. Isn't that the the default yeah no I haven't wrote shit <clears throat> turn around <laughs> what are you listening are you listening to uh, copyright non-copyright stuff yep non-copyright music of doom <laughs> I guess I'm going to take another Waz. I'll be right back. 
it's really a channel. <laughs> oh, you can't have a username with three letters. As soon as I saw that was available, I was like, I'm going to go register that account and help somebody. But you can't. I chat, I. Void another invoice. I yeah, avoided. Uh, so our sales guy called the owner and he was not in. The person who answered said they knew about the issue and would message the owner with our contact info, but he hasn't heard anything back. Haven't done any follow-up yet. Sounded a bit small to chase, but I can follow up. It's all good. You're crispy, how are you? Sorry, those things don't work here because I'm streaming from the office in the morning now. Check out Drew Crispy at twitch.tv slash Drew Crispy. I have been playing COD since first one came out. Did competitive 1v1 Black Ops 1 and 2 ranked 14th in the world. Now I stream daily, run tournaments weekly, and wagers as well. Come say what's up in the chat. Also ride a full stunt Honda F4i motorcycle. Sponsored by Torque Law. Apex. Apex. Let me refund those points there, Drew. Because they don't work here. Drew Crispy is unable to answer your call right now. He is too busy smoking fools in Apex. Uh, making a little bit of money, losing a little bit of money. I haven't been very consistent one way or the other. We did spin into a $2,000 tournament, though. That's on the... Uh, 31st of this month with the 10 million dollar guaranteed prize pool we'll see we'll see how that goes uh apex i have played apex but the shield and health mechanics on top of everything else kind of like i'm really fucking bad at it. i'm having some mountain dew spark mountain dew sounds good this is pink for some reason. Ooh. Oh, back like in middle school, in. back in middle school, the kids were like, Mountain Dew makes your dick small. <laughs> What's up there, James? Do you get the uh, contact information when you get that specific box? Thank you. Um, just his email. You have his email though, too, right? 
Alex. Um, Been practicing on mouse and keyboard and ranked is so hard. Yeah. Very competitive. Apex is so hard to get used to with all mechanics. Super people too. Pretty hard to get used to with the crafting mechanics and shit. And the hero abilities. Oh god. I think those are the type of games where you just have to grind it and like only play that game. Yeah. Just, just even stay halfway good at it. Definitely not casual games. Keisha's in class. Damn. It's a gamble here. Damn it. Well, potent. Looks like we're out of this one. Feels so bad. Bad. Man. Yeah. Man. Suck. GG, Bacon. GG's. Woo! That one was pretty hot? Well, I flung it in the back of my nose. Nice. Red is feeding me hot pickles. Hell yeah, yeah dirty hot pickles. <clears throat> Spicy TikTok pickles. Nice. Have you done have you done anything like weird from TikTok? Like the weird shit they do on there? Have you um, bought any like the, the small waffle makers? Have you bought one of those? No. Just because of TikTok? I do smell something burning though. What the fuck does that smell? Oh, is that your candle? Oh, okay. It's a dirt candle. Alright, where's the hyper turbo nine max? <laughs> Is that not a thing? We probably shouldn't be playing this, but I'm gonna play it anyway.
Oh, I got him. We got first. I don't have to quit streaming poker for a month. Nice. Work for us. Hey, no problem, crazy lady. Did you call me crazy? I don't think I did. I think you did. <laughs> they don't they don't like those terms, Crisco. Right, sorry, I had it right down here, I just muted it. Is that is that why Reda stopped coming by the stream? Because I call her slurs? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, she's yeah, she's over my shit. She, she never did like coming <laughs> on the stream. <laughs> she never, really didn't. I'm going to post a picture as proof that we think that in the Discord. Yes. Yeah, dude, those pickles are spicy AF, man. I like how my first place finish is less than your buy-in. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. I shouldn't even be in this thing. But it's hard, man. I, 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 I really like hyper turbos. I shot take way too much. Like we took a couple of shots at some thirty dollar PKOs first of the month when we got the welfare pay stormers welfare check. Found out quick that that was a bad idea. See. Whoops! I answered and hung up. I was gonna <laughs> let the stream listen on the sales call, but it didn't work. It'd be funny if they had been like, hello, Mr. Non to my bacon. We've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. There's people calling me and I'm like, I haven't had that car in like eight years. Go away. I don't get any of those. I get the weird, um, like the actual scam scam stuff the rogue hello calls. this is the irs you yeah, owe yeah. the irs three thousand two hundred dollars we got please uh, call this number something in the mail the other day like a company that, like claiming to want to buy our house yeah and it was like, it was like like they weren't even like offering like <laughs> like they were just like offering like what we paid for it it's like bro come on Like even if it was real, like why would anybody fucking do that? If you agree, sign in closed sales agreement. We will send you a check immediately. But Binks won tournament. I don't think it's going to be any better than that. I think I'll just retire for the day. He's retired professional tournament I think, binker. I think I just broke even <laughs> for the day. That's my 37 cents rake back.
Hmm. Our distribution is not very nice to us in this uh, Piper Turbo right now. Good luck all in. Thank you. <laughs> well, you just turned to straight, so we're dead. Okay. <laughs> Yuck. Was a flip. The other two I registered are still not uh, up yet. Oh, like literally nobody's in there. Nobody's in there either. Jesus. Spin it again. That would be funny. There are definitely some sexy names in that lobby. Gamer Dad, cheapskate poker player. Occasional Twitch streamer. I'm a recreational poker player on America's Card Room. I've been a tech nerd my whole life and enjoy gaming as well. Thanks for visiting my channel. Going off the deep end. Oh god. Good <laughs> luck. Do, 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 do. I fucked the devil out of your mother last night. There's no need for an exorcist, cause I've got the time. You don't open the doors at the first screams of fright. Fuck the devil out your mother last night. And I don't want to wear my clothes when I go outside. It's so beautiful.
Ouchies! It's true, the band owes 90% of its airplay to this stream. We've heard it all too often. Check for the 330 OB. Lit rod. So pink spark Mountain Dew is pretty good. It's dew with a blast of raspberry lemon flavor. Go back to the early days of online poker when shit was easy. Is that allowed? Nice. You know, we're playing a little bit. Back when nobody knew nothing. God damn, you give me an opportunity to go back to 2003, I'm just buying Bitcoin. I'm just fucking <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> Bitcoin land. Is Golden Tea in the top 100 of all time arcade games? What is Golden Tea? It's the golf game that has the ball that you, you swipe. <laughs> oh, I remember. Yeah. I remember seeing this arcade. I never played it. I was never... I remember it was at the the golf course where my mom worked when I was little. I remember playing it there. That was about it, though. I think it was one of the first ones where you could save, too. Like, you could save your stats, yeah. I believe. Or like Gauntlet. What's the game where you can actually drive a golf ball into a net in your house? Oh, it's just like a simulator, right? Yeah. I have no idea what it's called. My, my buddy, he owned that little nine-hole course down here. He's since sold it, but he was thinking about getting that for the winter time and, you know, charging people. Come to hit holes. If you're in a video game, it's me at Golden Tee. I think our top golf here in Albuquerque got shut down. Why? I don't know. Revenue thing. I don't know. Oh. Uh, Most likely, I think. Right. I haven't played golf in so long. My uh, my dog used to be terrified of every golf ball that would come into our yard from the golf course. Right. But now he chases them when they come in. And he puts them in his mouth and runs around the yard like he found a fucking treasure. <laughs> Meanwhile, they're all over the place. Yeah. Then you go back through and walk through the backyard and see how many more golf balls I collect. It's been cold though, so I, I don't think there's much.
when we uh, we actually lived with my buddy at this golf course there when right before Maddie was born. Oh. Nope, we're out of 3.30. Almost. Jave, you at work? What are you doing, buddy? I receive it here? I don't know. Cyrus usually sleeps in. They should make online tournaments big blind anti format too. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why they don't. They post just the full anti regardless of the players at the table. They say over 1 million Americans are getting COVID a day. Omnicron? There's a new one now, too. I don't even know what that is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dr. Dad Poker. Dr. Dad Respect. I thought that was funny. <laughs> I was going to go with Dr. D. Doctor Dad Stream with a name like that, I think you, I think you have to. Hey, everybody! My name is Dan, aka Doctor Dad Poker. I am a No Limit Hold'em MTT player on the Poker Stars and Bet MGM Michigan USA sites. Join the chat and follow along on my poker journey. Welcome, buddy. I'm going to spike an ace here. Or a jack. Nope. 
We'll take second place for what? 100 bucks? Whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, not bad. 105. Feels bad. <laughs> no, I know that's the only reason for live Big Blind Ante, but when it comes to online tournaments, Big Blind Ante would keep pots static. You're. Your antis in the middle would always be a full big blind, whereas currently it's however many people are at the table. So if you, I mean, you can solve the game, like, you know. When we're going to get some big blind uncles, though, am I right? Yeah, we need some big blind uncles. Some love for my dad's brother, you know what I'm saying? Where do we end up? Do we just like literally just break even for the day with that one? Ah, yeah. What's today? <clears throat> now we're down 14 bucks on the morning session. Awesome. We have uh, $12 worth of combat points we can redeem, which means we would only lose $2.12 on the session. But I'm trying to save those up for the higher redeems. We got better cash back there. Hey, yeah. Question is, aya, aya. <laughs> know what I mean? Talking about uh, speaking of pickled peckers, there's Cyrus. Pickled Wait. peppers? Peckers. There's <laughs> Cyrus, he woke up. Aya, aya. What do we stream for? Just shy of four hours today for the morning session. Well, Cyrus, you can't have the internet go out all morning, dude. That's not acceptable. Yeah, what the hell, dude? How are you supposed to mod for me when your internet goes out? There's too many trolls in here? Yeah, really? there's so many trolls in chat. I don't... I, mean, I don't know, dude. I don't know. So crazy. I was down to one big blind and it's 330 on demand. And I ran all the way back up to 17 bigs now. Nice. Just below average ship stack. Like I thought I was out and I just kept getting lucky. Yeah, that's Alright. Alright, Let's see. I'm sick of listening to this non copyright music. You guys probably are too. Who are we going to rate? <laughs> <laughs> John Party, guys. His stream still says he's on the Sunday grind because he's no, weird. John Party. Fucking book oh. <laughs> Let's do it to a boys. We'll be back on in a few hours for our evening stream. We got a home game Friday night. Make sure you guys are there. Everybody's a rock star of Doom, okay? All the Doom rock stars.